Nine, we're two days into the new year and four days away from the start of the carnival season. And with the celebrations kicking off earlier than years past, float builders are feeling the pressure. Yeah, it is crunch time for them, but we're going to bring a sneak peek at some of those eye popping and unique works of art on wheels. Our Lacey Beasley here in studio and she got the grand tour tonight. How about that, Lacey? They say there's nothing like it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. Not only are, are the floats magical and colorful, some have steam and some have sparks, but they're all also handmade. And the people behind the scenes have been working year round. We're basically like Santa's elves, but for Mardi Gras. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and Mardi Gras in Mobile is definitely a stunner. Ben Kaiser builds floats year round, and his attention to detail is out of this world. This float is called the Isabella, and it is supposed to be the mother sea serpent, two babies, and I actually, you can tell which one's the youngest by their teeth. <laughs> So that's really specific details. Oh, just this like really little because you can see like these are cleaner compared to that one that's more plaque and then Big Mama has the most plaque. Wow, I'm amazed. So. That's really <laughs> fine detail. Oh yeah, and then I remember when I was doing like all the, the scale patterns, I was looking up like bearded dragon lizards or like different things like that and iguanas. How durable is this? Like if people are throwing stuff, like how durable is everything? I mean, it's, it's solid. Kaiser is in charge of 60 floats this year, all of them created by hand with multiple layers of cardboard, wire, and paste. The head of this sea serpent taking a month alone just to sculpt. It's no easy task, and he has a team of about 15 people helping out. But this isn't how it started off. Before any paint, first comes the paper mache. This sea of white waits to be razzle-dazzled with some Mardi Gras magic and some of it stay secret. So this, this is, is all the cardboard. cardboard that goes into shaping and molding and where do y'all get all this? Oh, I can't tell you that. Oh, that's, that's a, a secret. secret. Oh. Kaiser has been doing this a few years now and is still amazed to be a part of something so special. I mean, think about it. It's like really two cities in America that's like really doing this. Like this being a career, that's amazing. And when his pride and joy finally hits the streets of Mobile, you may find him in the crowd or already working toward next year. I'm saying while I did that while also hoping I don't get hit with a moon pie. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Usually I just want to lay on the couch at that point. And I'm already getting themes in for next year's. And you may be wondering how much each float cost. Well, Kaiser tells me between $25,000 and $35,000. For a full list of Mardi Gras parades, visit fox10tv.com and click on our Mardi Gras tab. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.